So hello YouTube friends. I'm doing another cooking video and I'm using this book again and I'm making three things. All three of them are snacks. Uh, just little things that you can nibble. So in this pan I'm making turmeric cashew nuts. In this bowl here I'm starting to make the bliss balls, which are exactly what they say. So little balls just for snacks. And then, so I'm going to soak those. So I'll put all the recipes down below. And then I've got some sweet potatoes and I'm going to make some sweet potato snacks as well. So instead of me, uh, you know, running down the recipe as we're doing this, I'll tell you what I'm doing and then you can uh, look at the recipe down below if you want to or go to Ross um, Ross Bridgeford's uh, Alkaline um, Living Alkaline website if you want to. What I'm doing at the moment is uh, I got this book bookmark. I got this book at New Year it was released on uh, around about New Year's Day and I pre-ordered it and I got it at New Year and since then I've been only eating recipes out of here. Feel really well. Uh, lots of green juices, lots of um, nuts and seeds, uh, no fruit interestingly. Uh, and uh, so it's just something that I'm going to do for a little while just uh, you know while I'm feeling well on it and I am at the moment. So the bliss balls, easy bliss balls, so what I started off with I've got four Mirjul dates in here and some almonds and I'm just going to leave those to soak for a bit until the dates and the almonds soften a little bit uh, and then we'll make the rest of them. Uh, yeah so as I say I'm dancing between three different snack recipes. This one here I've done a folder with quite a lot of the recipes in it's a lot easier than trying to search through the book. These are turmeric roasted nuts and they are cashew nuts uh, two tea teaspoons of coconut oil, turmeric powder, a little sprinkle of chili flakes, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then you roast them until they go golden. And the good idea to have those there is, I don't want to take my eye off them in case they burn. So the third snack I'm going to make then uh, is going to go in the oven. So we put the oven on for a uh, a little while. Again this is one that needs to be watched really carefully so while I'm making the other two I can keep my eye on this. Okay so this is a sweet potato, it's a nice organic sweet potato I got this time and I'm just gonna peel this I've taken my compost bucket outside so I have to bring it back because my, my habit is just to dump it down there but there's nothing there at the minute so I'll put them all over there and I'll get it back in a minute. Okay then so I think as I've mentioned before Ross is a big fan of coconut oil uh, and it's lovely actually so I'm going to put coconut oil on this baking tray and because of course I live in a part of the world where coconut oil is solid at room temperature, I'm going to put that in the oven just to let that melt. And while that's happening, I'll give my these a little, and then I'm going to prepare the sweet potatoes. So I'll angle you down a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing there while I chat to you. So it's Saturday today. And Saturday is the day, I don't know why I chose today, but is the day that the uh, the second part of the Patchwork Dog um, series, the little uh, instalments I'm doing about the Patchwork Dog, uh, I've scheduled that to come at, on Saturday at midday my time. But, you know, not everybody's interested in um, English paper piecing or patchwork. So... I'm going to put this cooking video up as well so that people, I, you know how I like to look after you, people have got something to look at if they're not so bothered about the dogs, the patchwork. Although I've been very gratified, quite a lot of people are enjoying doing the dog. 
Okay then, so that is my sweet potato. Um, I'm just, mm, am I going to do one or two? I might do this little one as well because we, we need to be able to put them in one layer in the on the baking sheet. But I think the little one as well will do. Yeah, so it's a, a sort of a grey January day here today. Uh, no, um, nothing much to report from the last homely house. I ha have, it's the afternoon now, and I've spent the entire day cleaning the sitting room. So it looks like I'm expecting visitors. It's really nice. It's cosy, comfortable. And I've okay, so that's my second sweet potato there then. I won't use that one. I'll keep that one for some other recipe. And then I think those co those nuts are done now. So I'll turn that off and we'll get out the tray and see if it's... See if the oil's melted and it has. Now what I don't want to do is just a minute. Oh, what a palaver. Let's get this well and truly out of the way. There we go. Now, so this baking tray then, the oil has melted on there now. And I'm just going to lay these potato, sweet potato pieces out in a single layer. I, I seem to have assess that quite perfectly so that's really great and I'm going to take my pastry brush and just make sure that both sides of the sweet potatoes have got the coconut oil on it actually all pulled down this one side so I'll just turn it round just to make sure that they've all got the oil on like that and then, now, of course, you can leave off the chili flakes if you don't like them, but I do. So the next step then is to sprinkle on just a few chili flakes, like so. And this is some black pepper, just a little bit of... Uh, the way that I like to do my black pepper, I have black whole black pepper corns. In a jar. And then I grind them up in a mortar and pestle every few days so that I've got a fresh supply of really lovely, freshly ground black pepper. And I have to confess that it's actually quite a pig of a job. <laughs> So when Mark was here uh, on Thursday, uh, he did it. <laughs> this is nice of him. So this is going into a hot oven now. One tray, like so. Into a hot oven, and when I say hot oven, it's on about 100, it's on about 180 degrees at Celsius, whatever you have that as your equivalent. And so we're going to uh, keep a really close eye on them. And now I'm going to make the bliss balls. So I need a bowl, so excuse me a moment. Okay then, so uh, this is all cup measurements. I don't have cups. I just, you know, I, I didn't grow up with cups. I grew up with pounds and ounces actually. Uh, but now I'm more happy using grams uh, than that. So, um, but it does ask for cups. And uh, so I'm gonna get a cup, just a cup, and I'll use the same cup. So I don't want cup measurements, I don't ever want to use them, but I can kind of eyeball it with this nice cup here. So we need to do <laughs> blend the dates, almonds, almond meal, half the pistachios. So it wants me to do a third of a cup of pistachios. Okay. A third of a cup. 
and then put half of them in here. So that's not many pistachios, is it? Okay, third of a cup of pistachios, and then put half of them. So that's, oh God, the maths, the maths. Half the pistachios in my bowl, like that. And uh, half a cup of shredded coconut. So that's annoying because they're now sitting there. Half a cup of shredded coconut. Now, I'm not the world's biggest fan of coconut. I mean, desiccated coconut, but actually I quite like it in this. It, it adds a nice, um, a nice extra element. So half a cup of coconut, in she goes. A third of a cup of coconut oil, which is quite a lot of coconut oil. I'm gonna eyeball that as well. Yeah, that'll do. Eyeball everything. <laughs> um, a third of a cup of cacao powder, which isn't cocoa, it's quite different. Cacao powder. Um, we need a third of a cup of this. So, move the season in. Blend together. We do need this in here, so I'm going to pour what looks to be about a third of a cup. Ooh, that's, that's a bit more like half a cup. That'll do. That's a third of a cup of cacao powder. And a tablespoon of chia seeds. Chia seeds. Super healthy here today. Tablespoon of chia seeds. A cup of almond meal, which is sort of ground up almonds, isn't it? Okay. I'm just going to check what I do with these leftover pistachios. Just keeping an eye on my sweet potatoes. So I'll get everything out of there. Looks good. So it looks like that. So that's what the mixture looks like. I've just had a little taste, it tastes great. So I'm gonna take them onto the table now and do the next stage. So I've just checked the sweet potatoes. I mustn't get so engrossed in this that I forget all about them. Here's the mixture then. And all I need to do, uh, it's quite sticky because of the dates. I just need to roll them into probably one little bite size roll. A little tiny bit more than that. Just press them into shape. And then in here, I've got some pistachio nuts that I smashed up and I'm just going to cover them in pistachio nuts. They look lovely, the green of the pistachio. Just roll them round the pistachio nuts and then put them on my plate. <laughs> and I'm gonna make these and keep them in a box in the fridge because uh, every now and then when I'm feeling like uh, a little treat, uh, there's um, the temptation is to think about chocolate or uh, something like that. But this for this few weeks that I'm doing this, I'm gonna try and just stick to what's in the book. It's worked so. Now there are so many different diets and health, regimes out there aren't there and I'm not saying this one is any better than any other it's just the one that works for me um, if you found one that works for you then good stick to it if you want to I'll just be doing this for just as long as I feel like <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to have a look at the sweet potatoes. Here are the sweet potato chips. They're cool now. They're crunchy. Mm, they're delicious. They're nice cold. The cashew nuts, I'll just put a few of those in a little dish and eat them when I'm watching the telly or actually I take them with me when I go out in the car as a snack. The bliss balls, they're probably going to need to be in the fridge for a bit to firm up, but I ate one of those and they're gorgeous. And while I had the oven on, I made some kale chips as well, which are made in pretty much the same way as the sweet potatoes. Just toss them, in this case in olive oil, um, put them in a single layer in a, a baking dish, sprinkle them with sea salt and they're a very good snack as well. So I've got my four snacks and I'm going to very much enjoy eating those. Don't worry, I'm not going to stay sort of, I'm not going to ram this sort of vegan, super healthy food down your throats forever. I'll get back to cooking the things I like. At the moment, this is just perfect for what I want to do, uh, which is, um, you know, eat a little bit more healthily at the beginning of the year. Uh, so, uh, yeah, if you move to try any of these, let me know. These ones are really, really easy, as are these two. And this one, I'll leave all the instructions in the description box below. Mm, delicious. Get back to some... Um, I was going to say some ordinary content, but <laughs> it's never ordinary, is it? It's all over the place. <laughs> okay, guys, enjoy. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>